I had to go back for a second time. This time, I mentally prepared for possibly having a good time with someone. Same spiel, I showered, I prepared, and I packed a few things in a small backpack. But this time, I decided to go on a Thursday during the day. I figured it would be less crowded, and I would hopefully be able to get a full body tan up in the rooftop deck. I did have a lecture to attend later in the evening, but I wasn't planning on staying at the bathhouse for too long. I parked my car and I arrive at this three-story building once again. I show my ID to the attendant, I pay for a locker, he hands me a towel and my locker key and buzzes me in. Still smells like a sauna, still low lit with red ambient lights all around, but not as many guys as there was last time. I felt much more confident this time around and it helped that I didn't have hella eyes on me. I remove all my clothes and I decide not to wear undies under my towel. I was planning for a full body tan so there was no need. I I apply suntan lotion, I lock up all my belongings, and I step back out onto the long ass hallway. My plan was to go straight up to the roof. As I'm passing the rooms, there are a few guys in them, but significantly less than last time. I was feeling a little ballsier, so I was making a little bit more eye contact, but I immediately stopped when I realized that it was being seen as an unspoken language. Gotta be careful with that around these here parts. Just minding my business, I make it up to the roof. I recall three or four guys up there. The deck was actually pretty cool. They had this garden theme going on. Most of the plants were fake, but still it was pretty cool ambience. There were a couple dozen Shays lounge chairs, and this little sauna gazebo looking thing. I didn't go in because I already knew what was going on in there. I picked a chair and I set it all the way down. I removed my towel, place it on the chaise and lay down on my tummy but ass naked. Obviously my guard was up. I didn't want no random dude coming from behind and trying anything. It was a pretty hot day in LA, probably like the low 90s so I was already sweaty. When it was time to flip and tan my front side I elevated the chaise so I can sit up a bit. I just didn't want my male area to be all out there, you feel? So as soon as I turned, two older gentlemen come over and start trying to make conversation. I couldn't take them seriously because they really weren't looking me in the eye. I kept my responses short until they took the hint that I wanted to be alone. They sit right across from me, which is pretty much a place where they can get a full view. I was like, eh, whatever. I'm gonna work on this here tan. Not even one minute later, this other dude comes over and asks if the chair next to me is taken. There's like 20 other available chairs, but I was like, nah, go ahead. He was a slender Asian dude, probably in his later 30s. He places his towel on the chaise, lays on his stomach, and faces me. I could feel eyes on me again. At this point, I've been out on the roof for about half an hour, so I was about to call it and hit the showers. This dude next to me starts making conversation and starts giving me all these compliments and straight up invites me to his room. And you know what? I was actually feeling kind of up for it, but I made an excuse and I said I had to go hit the showers. And he said that that was fine and he can wait for me in his room. And I asked, well, what do you want to do? He said anything that I was comfortable with. And that statement is what sold me the invitation. We both get up, wrap our towels, and we exit the rooftop. As we're walking down the stairs, he insists that I wait to shower after. And it really didn't take much convincing for me. I mean, if he didn't mind, it did make more sense to just postpone the shower. We get to his room, and it's kind of like a 200 square foot low lit dorm room. A twin size bed, a long narrow table and a TV mounted on the wall. He closes the door and tells me to sit back on the bed. Now I only agreed to third base stuff, not a full home run. So in the middle of it, homeboy starts tying something around my area. And I'm like, yo, what are you doing? He says it will make it better and proceeds to wrapping it. He does this final twist and I immediately feel an insane amount of pressure down there. I'm like, get off. Get it off me, get off. It instantly kills the mood. This wasn't what I agreed to. He apologizes, I wrap my towel around, and I walk out of the room. While I wasn't in any more pain, I just wanted to hit the showers and go home. I get to the showers, and there's a surprising amount of guys around, but they were actually showering and getting ready to leave. Looks like we all came for a quick afternoon pick-me-up. I place my towel on a hook, and I rinse the sweat and lotion off my body. As I'm doing so, I turn to my left and I see this very muscular dude showering next to me. I'm like, hello? He notices me staring at him and he notices my excitement. I allow his handiness. He tells me he wished we would have met earlier and I allow him to take third base. I look up and I notice there's a freaking crowd gathered around. I tap his shoulder and I'm like, um, excuse me, sorry to interrupt, but I gotta get to class. He was a very attractive dude. Who knows what would have happened if we did in fact meet earlier. Oh, I hope YouTube doesn't get me in trouble for this little story, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I have not been to a bathhouse since, and I don't see myself going to one anytime 
ever. <laughs> They're just not my thing. I'm glad I have the experience though. Thank you for continuing to support. My name is Delfino and I'll see you next time. Bye.